With us once again is Lou Vaccarelli. And Lou, who did you bring to the set today? Steve and Pat from Train Masters of Babylon. I had some old trains in my attic I wanted to give to my grandson. And of course, after 30 years, they didn't work too well. So I gave my friend Steve a call and he fixed them up for me, I believe. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome back to the show once again. Thank it's you. great to be here. Glad to have you here. So uh, tell us about Lou's Broken Trains. Sure. Lou's a regular at the club. He comes to visit our open houses and um, discovered his trains in the attic and wanted to give them to the grandson. So um, I said, Lou, bring them on down. Let's take a look at what you got. And lo and behold, they didn't work. Okay. So they needed a, a good refresher and a tune-up. Luckily, these are the 1950s Lionel trains. And, I mean, very common items. A lot of people had them as Christmas and birthday gifts throughout the 50s and 60s. And they just, after being in the attic for so long, they just needed a little cleaning up, some sprucing, some tune-up. And so we, we decided we took care of that. Plus, we gave him some advice on how to set up a, a layout for his grandson. So Lovely. Now, how did you guys become friends? How did you get involved with the well, club? I was, in 1994, when the club started, uh, there were seven members. And then it happened, one of the, my neighbor across the street, who was a teenager, who was one of the, he said, Pat, come on down. I want to show you something. Make a long story short, here it is, 2021. I, I think we, I met Steve about what? 1996. 90, we started having open houses at our first location, and sure enough, Steve comes in one day, loves the layout, and we've been friends ever since. We play golf together. We uh, Oh, okay. You know, so not just trains. You have other things in yeah. common, Oh, yeah, we too. have other things in common. Yeah. Yeah. And, Lou, what do you like best about when you go there? and seeing the train layout and things. I like it because it's like a speakeasy. Okay. <laughs> Walk down this alley, hang a left, okay, and there's this door, you knock, secret knock. Steve sometimes. sent me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Open the door okay. and it's like a, a wow. I mean, I think, uh, what did we say, it's like 4,000 square feet? 4,400 uh, square feet of trains. Trains, right, and it's so. all, you know, it looks like, you know, it's all professionally laid out. I mean, I think you have like some people that do scenic uh, for movies and motion pictures. But well, we, we're lucky to get the uh, layout that was featured in the Blue Comet episode of The Sopranos, second to last episode. And But what we have is just, it, it's a collaboration of what we're up to 87 members right now. And people that come down, have a good time, share the hobby. Some people are good carpenters, some people are electricians, some people are good with scenery and landscaping. So it's just, it all comes together and I think Throughout the years now, we've had open houses since 96. We've had about 50,000 people come through the door. My goodness. Yeah. It, it some is. people come through more than once, like, whoa. But, and uh, some people stay there for hours. <laughs> okay. uh, and it's, it's just amazing to us because we like running trains, right. but we love looking at other people, and it makes no difference how old they are. Yeah. Right? Everyone has a story to tell us. And uh, it's it's very it's very interesting. Yeah, and you have mountains and you have lakes. You even have a subway. We have a, a, a full working subway, which actually works underground in um, the subway. So. And we have a Penn station. <laughs> and yeah. you have a circus. You know, and sadly, during um, these changing times, Roadside America, with all their miniatures, they closed. Yes. And I was so disheartened to hear that. Um, and it's nice to know that you guys are still open and that you're thriving and that you're dedicated to this experience for yourselves and others. It's really admirable. Well, we, thank you. You're welcome. Thank we like to do it because it expands the hobby for ourselves, but it, in addition, we get to share it with the public too. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a great experience for us. We really enjoy seeing the people come through. Yeah. What's unique is that I thought anyway, I mean, you have the layout, you bring your own trains. If you're a member, you bring your own trains, you set up at a certain place, and you go up to the, the top, or stay at the bottom and you can walk around with a remote control and follow your trains. You don't even need your own layout. You just have the train set up and you could be in an apartment and come down. Uh, and I would imagine during COVID, you guys were probably pretty busy. The, during COVID, yes. We, we had a breakup because it's not easy to get 87 people together <sighs> and social distance. I love the new words. But 
so we, we're now, we actually have scheduled run sessions every day of the week. So people come down a group. I'm usually there on Sunday morning, which is when Lou came to visit. Pat's group comes down on Wednesday mornings. But we have something about seven or eight different scheduled times during the week. Hmm. Well, thank you for visiting with us once again. And um, obviously, they, I guess they fixed your trains. Yeah. There you go. So uh, Louis IV will be a happy boy. I would believe so. There you go. Well, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. And is there anything else uh, in particular you'd like us to share with the audience before we wrap up? Well, we, we do have open houses. We're continuing. So we took a year off due to the COVID. And now we're uh, cleared for uh, having uh, open houses again. So we're scheduled some dates starting with Thanksgiving weekend right through February 5th and 6th. Yeah, and so, you have a Facebook page, and underneath will be your website. Right. Um, okay. We have so a website, okay. which will lead us to our Facebook page. Right. Plus, we have a, a phone number where you can actually talk to a live person. An engineer, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, so all aboard, guys. Three, oh. two, one. All oh. aboard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.